you know, I was talking to my brother, Chris, and in our conversations, one of the things that often comes up is um, our sincere desire to warn people. Because one of the things that I hold near and dear to my heart is to make sure that none of us falls into the category of Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Imagine when we get to a point where people begin to be told, I never knew you. It breaks my heart to even know that. This is why all of us work together as a team. All of us, whether it's our sister Heidi with the women's group, my brother Chris, he and I talk a lot. All of the many people, Sister Tracy joining our lives, Sister C, Sister Nancy, all of the people that come together to work together. Uh, Nancy Dollard in the chat, uh, Jacqueline who still joins in as she can join in, Lynette, Christina, you know, all of the people, Shauna, I mean, I'm, mi I'm missing names. I'm guarantee you, Sarita, you know, Tiana, I'm mentioning names just to kind of share with you that this is not a one-man operation. We're all working together for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Take that very, very, very seriously. Take that very, very, very seriously. You know, because Jesus is coming very, very soon. You know, there's nothing more beautiful than seeing the body of Christ work in one accord. My brother Matt, when he's holding the services on Sundays and I go to the services and I speak a little bit of a part and he preaches and others sing and we all come together. You know, when I, when I see what happens when the body of Christ comes together for his gospel, you know, um, there's nothing more beautiful, nothing more beautiful than that. And... We need to move past this mentality of this is my ministry or your ministry. No, this is none of ours, man. We came into this world butt naked and you're going to leave butt naked. All of the things that we're trying to treasure sometimes, these are things that are just here today, gone tomorrow. Are we doing the Father's will? We have to, folks. I'm telling you. We have to reach a neighbor. We have to reach a friend. We have to reach someone. I don't want us to be at a point that we get to that point and we say to ourselves, man, I regret not going harder for Jesus. I regret not going an extra mile for the Lord. I regret. You know, there's nothing worse than that. So all of us, let's keep on working together. And I know I missed a lot of names. Um only mention some just to give you an example that guys none of us is greater than the other none of us is greater than the other none of us we're all just trying to do the best that we can to work with and what we have to reach people for the Lord do your part I'll do my part keep encouraging others for them to do their part because I am telling you folks we're in a day and age that people are getting lost left and right. And this is a longer devotional than normal. But it is because it breaks my heart to see what's happening out there in the body of Christ. And how much time we're wasting. And we don't have time to waste. Jesus is coming. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Okay? Be encouraged. Jesus is able all right he's able all right there are seasons to everything i know we have a sister stephanie who has a farm and she joins the chat as well and you know i can imagine in a farm you have different seasons you have different moments right so it's like that you know our sister michelle who joins in the chat she has children there are different seasons for children there's so many different seasons Life has its different seasons. Be encouraged. Jesus loves you. All right? God bless.
Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to come together as brothers and sisters. Thank you for all of us breaking through the boundaries that sometimes in the walls that we build and allow us to work for you, for you are the master. Allow us to remember that none of us is better than any other. We're just working together for Jesus Christ. We're all part of the body of Jesus Christ. Allow us to remain humble like clay that could be used for your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of what we're doing here on this devotional channel. We have the Natalia 1981 channel, which is a little bit of a bigger platform that's reaching a different type of harvest for Jesus. And from there, we're pulling people over here and, and so forth. And uh, may Jesus be glorified. Thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for being awesome in the Lord. And uh, love you guys very much. Uh, we all make a great team for Jesus. God bless. I love the simplicity that is found in Jesus. It's very simple. You know, he's an awesome God. And he says simple things like John 14, 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Very short sentence, straight to the point, very easy to understand. Yet why is it that even in the simple things, sometimes we fail to grasp what God is trying to teach us here? And when it comes to obedience, there's nothing more beautiful than if God says, jump, you jump. God says, go to the left, you go to the left. Go to the right, you go to the right. Why? Because it's in that obedience, okay, that you're going to have the peace that surpasses all understanding. Why? Because when you obey him, okay, he is now the one in control of your life. He begins to be the one who controls your thought stream. He begins to one who controls your speech patterns, your faith, your optimism your positivity okay it all stems from you submitting to the heavenly father and obeying him in all of his ways you know we live in a western style of a church where that's not promoted nowadays nowadays the standard has been lowered so much so but if the holy spirit is now dwelling in us if the holy spirit is our teacher if the holy spirit is our comforter we should be able, we should be able to submit our whole lives to him and trust him. Listen, Jesus loves you. Jesus has a purpose for you. Jesus desires to do awesome things in your life so that he can be glorified. Let us submit to him today. Today's a good day to submit to him today. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for the simplicity that is found in you. Thank you for the simplicity that is found in your grace, in your salvation. Thank you. Allow us to be better stewards of all of the things that you've allowed us to have. Allow us to be better people so that when our neighbors, our coworkers, our spouses, our children look at us, they can say, man, what a work Jesus has done in that person so that he could be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, thank you for taking the time. You're cordially invited to our community. TFGministries.com is a small community, but we're there to encourage each other and be there with each other. Also on this channel, we have services on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So subscribe and please leave a comment or two. Encourage each other. If you see that someone posts a prayer request on this video, pray for them, encourage them, be there for each other. We are the body of Jesus Christ. Let us um, act like it, right? because God is awesome and he is worth it. God bless.